Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith and the Black Channel here at Ticker Jacker with the Strat Time Report, and we got ourselves a big old FOMO rally. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's take a look. SPY. So, SPY, as we've been watching some of these levels here, uh, here on the weekly, we took it out yesterday, but then we re-break here on the weekly. This is a two down by taking out the previous low, then boop, when she gets back through here, popped there, through there yesterday, didn't have enough oomph, now it does, and you take out... 390.92 and boom off you go into the highs so a little exhaustion risk when you go into the highs but uh, one of the things that we look for here how do you get in on this now the 15 minute here the two up the two down by taking out the lows and right there you're in all right call that the 222 shotgun boom off it goes because almost everything that's uh, you know if you look at and i'm gonna show you the scan in a second if you go to the scans uh, as I've said many times, I can scan the market and tell you what it's doing. I don't have to look at a chart. But now you're 2-2 up, and you did take out last month's highs. So, uh, you know, it's just into the highs. It's just exhaustion risk. So, But you did do that after trying to get out by bringing them down into here. Now you're just stalling out a bit here, but still no lower lows. Here's another thing we look for, the Momo Hammer 30. See this? Oh, well, I think it's going to roll over, do you? Shh, boom, right there. As soon as it takes that out on the 30, you're in. Another important pattern thing that we're looking here, QQQ, and there's a lot of things doing this, right? Yesterday, the gap up and then come all the way in and close out near the lows, right? Almost nobody's staying long that, right? And so then when it gaps up in here, it's called a kicking variation, right? Everybody's gone, and now they're fighting to get back in. And if you were short, you could stay short, right, because you went out on the lows. But now it comes and takes this out, everybody goes underwater. Right, so you're going to see this pattern in a lot of NASDAQ names. But uh, also remember, we, we're looking at this level here, 31088, which is where it closed last night, right on that. Below that, bad. Above it, good. Still handling an inside week here, Q's, right? But getting greener every minute. And if you take a look at the scans, now we got a new 60, right? Always want to be aware of the new 60. Let's go to the 60. Because things will change if we get some sort of reversal. 2-2 two, two on the 30, uh, something over like here, or SPY. There's a lot of things getting caught up at the future strength, right? And so when that happens, we will see a little bit more uh, selective weakness because we're not seeing much now because they're uh, pretty much taking everything up with market. So if you go here, go to the scan. Now, how can I know what's going on here? Few few things you'd scan for here. First, I like the volumes, the higher volume. Who's taken out yesterday's highs? That'd be a two or a three, right to the upside, right? It would. Okay, let's take a look. Palantir, Apple, Bank of America, AMD, Boeing, FCX, Oxy, Microsoft, Snap, letter X, DraftKings, Facebook, Space, Citicorp, Marvell. You can see it's pretty much across the board, right? All this kind of stuff. You've got uh, Qualcomm, Morgan Stanley, so you can see it across Halliburton, across all sectors, names that you've heard of, Visa, all this kind of stuff doing its job, right? And then if you scan for who's taking out the lows of yesterday, let's, t let's see who that is. GE and Oracle, okay, there's something. A whole bunch of nobodies of nothing. JetBlue, GILD, KHC, Fossil. But you can see how sparse that list is comparatively, right? That tells me the market's going higher, right? And if you don't have a 60 that corrects, that's going to continue. So another thing you want to scan for was what's left over here. What I mean by that is, Who's still inside on the day at this point? Because these guys could fuel more power, right, if they take out the highs. So you got GameStop quietening down, Tesla quietening down, Intel is still inside day. So all these Macy's still an inside day. So all these guys, if they could start breaking Twitter, then you, as that number starts to increase, the higher probability you have of this market going higher, right? So I'll keep an eye on all this like list too to see who adds to the new high list. So let's take another look here. Once again, QQQ here would need 
to take this out, right? Now you're running out of time. You've only got one more day left, but 324.33, right? And so you got some distance on that before to not be an inside week, right? But tomorrow, when this closes out, wherever that is, the high of this is going to get our attention next week, right? Or the low, because it's an inside week. You're back to unched on the month, right? So just so you know. If you go to the Dow Jones Diamonds, Dow Jones Diamonds doing its job once again. One thing, patterns we look for, the outside week, the poke down, the 322 back to the highs, right? So that takes care of business and does that. So once again, with those cues, you're going to see a whole bunch looking like this, right? A whole bunch. You get Amazon. You see this yesterday? Close it out near the lows and then come up. Amazon's still inside week, so we're very aware of that, right? And you're, but you're back into the monthly range, once again, unchanged on the month. If we go to uh, Facebook, once again, gapped up just a little bit, came out towards the lows, and then boom, as soon as it takes this out, oh yeah. Anybody stayed short yesterday? Mm hmm, coming after them, right? Because right now, on the monthly, you can see this pokes down a little bit, trying to go outside of the month, but stuck in here forever. Uh, but now coming back, if we go to LPI, having a nice day in the energy, and one of those things we talk about used to be somebody up in here, right? And then here, inside week, to the upside, pivot machine gun, these guys, they're gone, right? After yesterday, here, what do we look for? Inside day, poke down. Rev strat day to the upside, now continuing higher. Uh, we saw a lot of XLE strength early, now starting to back off a little bit here. So you can see that now on the on the 60. If you could take this out, that would get my attention, right? Because then you'd go two up, two down, boom, right here. So in the next hour, watch an XLE over 5408. How's OIH doing? OIH not so fortunate, we'll see. If we go to um, Google... In Google, once again, you can see that open on the highs and then dumps down here a little bit. And then two-day inside pattern because these were both inside of this, right? But then here, boom, once it takes that out, off to the races. You can see that no uptick from the opening, from the higher than the opening yesterday. So you can stay short, but then once that takes that out, up she goes. W day. And W day, you can see that same pattern. Gaps up, boom, right here, right? This is what you look for. We want to have like maybe 80% of a candle being red or green and then going back the other way the next day. That's something you definitely want to know about. And then you would look at the weekly and you'd see this here. This is a two down by taking out last week's lows. This is your reversal above here, 256.78. Trading 258.05 and you still got a day and a half to go on that. Like a lot of things, you get them FOMO rallies where they just come blasting out of here. So if you didn't get stuff, you can wait because they're going to triangle them out. They always do. And what I mean by that, you're going to have some corrective activity. Let's take a look at this buy. Sometimes it was brief like on the 15, and in a grinding situation, sometimes you got to go down to a five-minute, like here. How am I going to get in on this thing? You're going to wait for corrective activity. You're going to have an inside bar. There's your 2-1-2 reversal off the fiver, and off she goes. If we go to Win Resorts, and Win Resorts, take, taking out last week's high, two directional. Inside day to the upside, something we look for, yep. And also here, taking out last month's highs, but you can see in here on the month. These guys here, right? It's been higher, so that's good. So here is your consolidation, if you will. Here is your stop them out. And now coming back to try and form the broadening formation by taking out these guys here on the month. That also, if we go to 60, also a little, a little quick on that, but that tells you maybe look at LVS. LVS, still handily inside week, so we'll be aware of that. But you can see this broadening formation on the monthly. Right, still has, still needs to re-break that monthly high. But on the daily, if you're going to get in on this, this is what you'd look for. The poke down, two down, and right here. 2-2 two, two reversal comes up, looking to take this out, and then you'd be a broadening formation in here. As price discovery has 
start it over again. That's why it's so tight, because it's an inside week, right? And that's what that's why you want to know about inside weeks. If we go to American Tower. And American Tower did what it was supposed to do on the month, the beginning of the month, we were looking for this, right? Took a slight higher high and then almost an outside month, but didn't make it. So this month, we we're looking to take that out. These two become an outside bar of all this, right? Well, once an outside bar, always an outside bar. Well, that means they paid up and they were willing to sell down at the previous range. If they did it once, they might do it again. And if we take out this daily, you'll see this. Tighter broadening formation, tried to go the highs, then come down here, now coming back through the try. See that? And that tells us to look at S back. There you go. Trying to take out last week's highs. That's good. Going green. If we touch, also look at CCI Matars. All right. And that's still inside month, but you can see this monthly, or this weekly. And the monthly did the same thing here, right? Now trying to come back through those ranges. If we go back, if we go to... PayPal. PayPal, once again, you're going to see this all over in the NASDAQ today. Gap up, 80 to 90% red. Boom, as soon as that takes that out, kicking pattern to the upside variation, right? If we go to now, and now, same thing. And when you see this, as soon as it breaks this high, you, you can grab that above 249.96, trading 253.54. Still an inside week, like a lot of things here. Uh, and still was a little grindy and blast in here, but uh, you can grab that. That's how you would grab that. Melly, same deal. Opened right on the highs, came in all day, and then boom, right here. You can grab this above this. One. 1,531.69. Still handling an inside week. Because as you come into the end of the week, you always want to say, what's the next two? What is setting up? Right? For right now, what's setting up is inside weeks in a lot of the NASDAQ, but they're also closer to taking it out to the highs so far. Right? That's something I'd want to know about. Right? Because then you could have the simultaneous break of all the weeklies break into the upside. If we go to four... Nice ripper here, just going into the highs, a little exhaustion risk. So we'll see if that sets up for you. Always like these nice long red and green bars to try and find a way in. Two, 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 right there, Momo Hammer, off to the two, up, down, off she goes. If we go to JNCE, and JNCE, nice long green bar on the day, ain't it? Yep, and here's what it did. This was a two down yesterday but on a gap and then came back it was closer to being a two up so when it took this out there's your two two reversal two down two up back to the previous range Whoosh, off she goes now you got some exhaustion risk going into the highs nice little 15 or here though right there inside 15 to the upside if we go to b e e m and b e e m and this trying to do that on the weekly two down bright red and then boom just running out a week, and it had to get distance to get there. But uh, for right now, over 44.69. That's not bad. We'll see if this is going to go inside 60 for you and trying to come back up for the month. AVAV. -A -V. And this having a nice little run here, too. How about the 30? Got anything on that 30? A little quick on that, but... Um, just having a nice day and getting closer to taking this out. Also setting up potential rev strat month, right? Goes back green back into the inside month. So this will get our attention if it doesn't do it today or tomorrow. Next week, certainly over 119.99, right? You're almost there. Downside, not too much going on here. Uh, CACC getting hit here. Now trying to come back just a tad. But this is what we look for back through the previous range. Because once this started to collapse... We're going outside week, right? Yes, we are. And you're changing that month back red. Let's go to your 60. How's that looking? Okay, a little corrective activity. We'll see how it handles the new 60. And there's your daily coming back through that stuff. Um, fossil. Fossil back through previous range. Two up, two down. Now inside on the 60. We'll see if there's more pain and suffering there. See if we can get an outside month out of that thing. 
and Granger GWW. Like I said, there's not too much getting hit that hard right now. GE that was on the list, right? They're coming in. GILD was on that list of taking out yesterday's lows, but still green. So that's what you'd want to look for. Um, we want to look for things that are taking out yesterday's lows. All right. Otherwise, we got to wait on these 60s. Things will change. But you need to have some sort of reversal on these 60s Qs, spies, and all that kind of stuff. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Officer the Smith Black Channel here at Ticker Tiger with Strat Time Report.